and we are going to study the topic of Hicksian demand function and what is the concept? Hicksian demand function tells the relationship between the quantity demanded by the consumer with its price keeping the utility constant and the concept is somewhat different from our previous demand function or the demand curve that was explained by the Marshall. In that curve or the function we kept the money income constant and here we will keep the utility constant. So the basic question that the consumer is facing is what is the level of the utility, how to obtain the utility and how to optimize the utility. When the question of optimization is faced, definitely there is the resource constraint. So the problem of utility maximization, keeping in view the resource constraint is solved in the two way. That is called the consumption duality or the duality principle means that is the mirror image of the each other. We can say that in the Marshallian approach that we tell this approach by the name of the primal demand curve. Ya agar mein kahun ke Marshallian wale method ko hum kehte hain ke ye basic primal hai, buniyadi hai. Jis mein hum commodity ki kiemton ko badalte hain aur uski income ko constant rakhenge aur other goods ki kiemat ko constant consume karenge. Iske mukaabale mein Dusra method that is called dual or the other ya mirror image of the primal is that here we are going to maximize the utility and this procedure maximization of utility is achieved not through the utility rather through the cost minimization. So here the expenditure incurred by the consumer that can be minimized in a manner that will ensure the existing or the kept utility level of the consumer constant. So in the primal, the thing that will vary that will be the price of that commodity for which we are going to measure the quantity demanded and there will be the change in the real income. But in the dual Hicksian demand model, utility will be kept constant and if utility has to kept constant it means something other has to vary and that will be the nominal income. So this Hicksian demand curve that was basically provided by a British economist and so it is on the name of Sir John Hicks and Sir John Hicks actually conveyed that in the relationship of quantity demanded with its own price changes if we are able to compensate the consumer for its change in expenditure or for its change in real income then we can draw a relationship. So for this we assume that the utility of the consumer it will be kept constant and for that constant level of utility what will be the requirement in the expenditure that will be compensated and that amount of compensation can be calculated through the compensation variation principles and by this we can draw the Hicksian demand curve. So when we say that there is a demand curve and in Marshallian we say the demand curve of the X or the demand curve of the Y or the demand curve of the Z, it depends upon price vectors and where the price vectors are the price of own commodity and the price of all other commodities. In Marshallian approach we will keep the vectors of the prices and the income of the consumer constant but in Hicksian we will assume that the demand of the consumer function is the function of the prices and keeping the utility level constant. So when we consider this and we draw in the form of the equation in the form of comparison we can have 
that the same level of the factors we are having here the price of x and price of y and on the right side we are having this marshallian or the i will say them the primal demand curve and here it is the dual or the hicksian demand function the only difference is that in primal we will kept the income constant and in the dual or the hicksian we will keep the utility level constant so dealing in the both we are having only one objective that we want to examine or we want to assess ke kisi bhi consumer ki jo demand hai for one commodity wo uski price ke change hone se kaise tabdeel ho sakti hai so the same method we utilized of the lagrange principle and we come up that the change in the demand due to change in price and the change in demand due to price in the primal when we differentiate these functions and the first order conditions we equate to each other then we come up with the one part that the hicksian demand curve it can be equated to the marshallian demand curve and in the marshallian we can substitute the amount or the part of the income with this of the expenditure now these two demand functions they become equal and they become equal in a sense that this will tell us the amount of the income or the amount of the expenditure that will be particularly required when the consumer has to maintain its existing utility level so when we have to draw in the form of the curve we can see that this is our general marshallian or the original demand curve or the ordinary that we have discussed many time and this is the center point and here i can see that the consumer is at equilibrium and this is the center point and if now we say that there is a point when the price of the commodity x it is more than that the previous so we say that the consumer shifts backward and he reduces his demand and if the price of x reduces then in response to decline the consumer increase its demand and it moves rightward but when this movement we have to show on the form of in the form of hicksian demand curve the direction of the change of the quantity demanded will be same but the magnitude it might be different and this magnitude it actually expresses that in marshallian the effect of the change in the quantity demanded is due to income effect and the substitution effect but in hicksian because we utilize the concept of compensation how we at the point of compensation we say ke agar is point ko jahan pe main agar kahun ke if it is the point of a to is point ke upar commodity ki jo price hai suppose price of x1 jo hai that is higher than the price of x jo ke uski x2 or responsive of point b hai to jab commodity ki keemat badhti hai तो हम कहेंगे कि कंज्यूमर के पास जो रियल इनकम है या उसकी परचेजिंग पावर है वो रिड्यूस हो गई तो उस रिडक्शन इन परचेजिंग पावर के लिए नाउ द कंज्यूमर इट रिक्वायर्स सम अमाउंट ऑफ मनी इन हिज हैंड और वो अमाउंट ऑफ मनी जो है वो अब उसको एक्स्ट्रा रिक्वायर है तो दैट एक्स्ट्रा रिक्वायर्ड मनी और दैट एक्स्ट्रा रिक्वायर्ड इनकम जो है वो हम कहेंगे कि दैट इज द पॉजिटिव कंपनसेशन बिकॉज हमने कंज्यूमर को ऐड करके देनी है क्यों करनी है क्योंकि हम चाहते हैं कि कंज्यूमर का यूटिलिटी लेवल जिस पर वो पहले मौजूद था वो उसको मेंटेन करे मींस जितनी अमाउंट ऑफ कंजम्पन वो पहले परचेज कर रहा था तो वो उतनी जरूर परचेज करे सो इन दिस वे वी कंपनसेट द कंज्यूमर तो वेन वी कंपनसेट द कंज्यूमर उसका जो इनकम अफेक्ट था 
उसके मार्शेलियन डिमांड पे वो हमने उसको कंपनसेट कर दिया एंड नाउ द ओनली चेंज इन द क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड दैट विल बी ओनली लेफ्ट विद द सब्सटीट्यूशन इफेक्ट एंड लाइक अगर ये डिक्रीज इन इनकम का केस होता डिक्रीज इन सॉरी प्राइस का केस हो जिसमें उसके पास एक्स्ट्रा अमाउंट ऑफ इनकम बच जाती है तो हम ये अमाउंट उससे टेक अवे कर लेंगे उससे ले लेंगे तो ये अगेन हमारे पास इनकम कंजम्पन होगी इट मीन दैट विल बी द नेगेटिव इनकम कंजम्पन सो इट मीन्स द अमाउंट ऑफ नॉमिनल इनकम एम दैट विल वेरी इन द थ्री केसेस वंस वी कैन गिव वन वी कैन टेक फ्रॉम दिन सो कीपिंग इन व्यू दिस वी कैन से दैट दिस कर बिकॉज जो इक्लिब्रियम पॉइंट्स हैं ये हमारे टेंजेंसी को शो करते हैं जब ये इक्वल टू स्लोप ऑफ द बजट लाइन होते हैं तो चूंकि यहाँ पे प्राइस तीनों पॉइंट्स पे चेंज हो रही है और लेकिन साथ साथ कंपनसेशन ऐड होती है तो उसकी वजह से हमारा कंपनसेटेड या हिक्सियन का जो डिमेंड कर्व है वो हमेशा मार्शिलियन के मुकाबले में स्टीपर कर्व होगा मीन्स इसकी स्लोप कम होगी क्योंकि ये सिर्फ और सिर्फ सब्सिट्यूशन अफेक्ट को एक्सप्लेन कर रहा होता है